Hey everyone, um, just turning my sound up for you. I am sitting here in my car. I have just had a, a massage and energy session with my healer Rose, and I just wanted to share what's on my heart right now before I drive home, before I lose this energy. I um, it's getting a bit personal and vulnerable with you, so that I can give you the context of this. I've been dealing with some heavy, deep survivorship boundary um self-worth abundance lack mentality issues uh for the past little bit and it became really really intense over the past few days and i realized that i need to set much stronger boundaries in my life i need to really step it up into claiming what i'm here to do and who i'm here to be and who i am and my divinity and i need to stop the cycle so that heavy, heavy, heavy stuff has been within me. I went for my healing because last week I woke up one day and my neck was out and then my whole body just started to be out. And I'd been overdue for a healing, but I had been in this lack mentality that I didn't have the money, don't have anyone to look after Shalia, don't have the time, you know all the stories. So finally got there today. I'm just going to put this down because it's a bit of a glare in my eyes. And uh, what's come through for me in this healing today that was like, whoa, I have never had a massage where I was not in my body, where I was not in the room the whole time. And I just went on the biggest, most massive journey, even when I was at the end, just like, yep, you weren't with us. You were not there. Um, but what came through is abundance and present time. And I just got this hit of intuition. The present time, being in the present time, being in your body enjoying the now, the present time with the people around you and what's happening in your life as best as you can. You might be going through shit, but just, you know, think of one thing that will help you feel better. Similar to what I was saying in my video about what to do when you're feeling low. Be in that present time and that is how you access your abundance. Thinking about the past or the future or getting lost in the stories. Yes, we need to work through stories and work through trauma and heal. We do to step into our highest timelines, into our goddess energy, our divinity. But staying in the present time with yourself and the people you're in relationships with, like your children, your partner, your family, your friends, work colleagues, whatever. That is how you access your abundance. This just came through for me. And I had been getting little hits of it, so I was trying to be present with Shalia, playing with her and being a good mum to her, for example. But in the back of my mind, I was always thinking that I wasn't doing enough. I was not getting enough work done and I was failing at life. What the fuck? No, Yasna, no. Oh, I can't believe I was so, like, blind to that. How long have I been doing this work for? But that's the other thing. You don't do the work once. You have to keep meeting it and answering it and choosing again keep meeting the fear or the trauma answer it with how you're feeling transmute it if you have to and choose again and again and again what you want i hope this helped you this is just what's on my mind and how i'm feeling right now i will check in with you all another time take care and enjoy your weekend